2018 Range Rover Sport. Got this thing on the lift. Got Marcelo chopping up the mufflers, as you can see them right here on the ground. Getting rid of these pieces of shit right here. We're slapping a vibrant performance axle back on there, guys. So these are vibrant, ultra quiet resonators. We're using them as rear mufflers. They sound perfect, not too loud. Nice, clean, deep tone. This is a classy car. We're trying to keep it classy without breaking the bank, guys. So vibrant performance. We've done them a ton. They work, they sound good. They even build up the performance a little bit. So like I said, chopping off the rear mufflers, popping these on here. That's what these look like. Super high polish, stainless steel, nice, clean, deep tone, fully packed resonator, right? So these are called the ultra quiet for a reason, just because they're not a noisy ass resonator. You want something nice and clean for this car? This is the move. The other alternative would be a Borla resonator. I think that would be perfect on this car. Next Range Rover, we're slapping Borla resonators on it. So this thing's got red guts, fully customized. It's pretty sweet, guys. Got the Sawzoss chopping, got the blades rocking. Matt's about to weld this shit together. Wait till you guys hear this thing. It's gonna sound sick. Range Rover is all said and done. Got the axle back done. Got the vibrants in there, welded up, painted black. So it's low profile, sleek. It's like the Range Rover. You got a nice little SUV. You don't want to be all shining and popping. We spray it black for you, but we leave the vibrant shiny because they nice. All right, those are 304 stainless polished steel. All right, like I said, chopped off the rear mufflers, uh, put these vibrants on there, made it a custom axle back system. The other alternative to this setup would be uh, a sole performance or maybe a Miltech or something like that, but those things are crazy expensive, guys. This is sub $1,000 for this setup. Two axle back mufflers. Uh, we left the midsection for now. This got two sets of resonators. Usually in the future, if the guy does want a little bit more aggressiveness, we pop this resonator out. We pop an X pipe on there to equalize the flow. And when you put an X pipe on a car, it equalizes the flow, kind of like an EQ on a sound system. Right, so also maximizes the velocity of the exhaust flow. So like I said, next upgrade, chop this thing out, pop an X pipe in there, it's a stamped X pipe. All our jobs come with a five year warranty. So you got five year warranty on your X pipe if you decide to do it. And then you got another little mini muffler up front. We just chop that out again if he wants it more aggressive. If he wants this thing to stream, we could do this whole midsection, X pipe up front, delete this front muffler. And then in the future, high flow catch, possibly, um, not really a recommendation for a Range Rover because it is a luxury car. You don't want to treat it like a Mustang, guys. And for the most part, this thing should sound sweet. So unfortunately, this Range Rover does have the bezel in the bumper. So you can technically take them off and fit some tips in there. But I prefer the stock OEM look. Or if you really want to make it really nice, you get an SVR conversion kit, which is the rear bumper, a rear diffuser area, and it comes with the split tips. So that looks pretty sweet. So my opinion, you can do it. Um, I would love to keep it a little bit more stock looking just because it is a luxury SUV. This is a 2022. I mentioned it was a 2020 earlier. I was wrong. It's a 22. You can tell by the interior, double dash, all right? Touch screen everywhere it's pretty sweet you got eco you got fucking road right here you got a bunch of different buttons all touch screen you got climate control you got vehicles you got even g button right here pretty sweet guys all right so you come to g your g exhaust you got g force check it sick this thing sounds sweet man it's a v8 sounds great let me put my seat belt on I got this little magical device right here. You guys know about this. It's totally illegal. Don't recommend it for you guys, but it goes right there in the seatbelt so you don't have to hear that stupid ass sound, guys. Let me reverse this thing. Oh, yeah. Got the red interior. Got the axle back all set and done. What a great, great SUV. In my opinion, I think this is one of the nicer SUVs out on the road. You really can't get much more car than this. Black and red guts. I mean, drives like a dream. 
this lady doesn't even see, you know, she's oblivious to the world, guys. So the drone's actually pretty minimal, surprisingly. Uh, usually SUVs, Range Rovers, uh, in general, have a little bit more drone than, than most. Uh, but this one sounds great, man. It's, uh, it's got really good uh, interior dampening. Um, and as you guys can hear, really, really smooth on the inside. So uh, minimal drone, which is awesome. It's kind of what, what you want out of a, uh, a luxury SUV. So the drone's actually pretty minimal, surprisingly. Uh, usually SUVs, Range Rovers uh, in general have a little bit more drone than, than most. Uh, but this one sounds great, man. It's, uh, it's got really good uh, interior dampening. Um, and as you guys can hear, really, really smooth on the inside. So uh, minimal drone, which is awesome. It's kind of what, what you want out of a, uh, a luxury SUV. So uh, for the most part, custom match back by Vibrant. Next one's gonna be a Borla setup. Shout out to Borla guys. Thanks for that system on that Super, by the way. Uh, also uh, pretty simple sub $1,000 upgrade for this car. Nothing for this car is under $1,000. You know, 2022 Range Rover. Uh, it's mixed between Jaguar, BMW. It's got a bunch of random ass parts on this thing, but they did something sweet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a couple revs. This is this was actually in sport. The revs I was giving you guys earlier. Uh, there's not much, you know, adjustments when it comes down to engine uh, power and stuff like that. You got a couple different settings here, but usually for throttle response. So this is actually in comfort right now. Pretty much the same. There's no valves on this car, so you're not gonna get a big difference in sound. So for the most part, what it sounds like is what it sounds like, and it just depends on how much gas you're giving it. So uh, it sounds about the same in comfort, guys. Sounds good, though. Range Rover all said and done. Got the Range Rover Sport P525HSE. That's special. It's a numbered vehicle, blacked out, black and white, red interior. The truck is awesome, guys. Sounds good. Just take a, take a walk with me real quick. Got the black wheels black and white everything red calipers black vents black vents black grill i think the black and white scheme just looks great on this car and um and yeah we just made it sound like how it looks guys so range rover sport custom axleback system g exhaust g exhaust.com g exhaust davy g exhaust oakland cheers bro